Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to demonstrate how to connect to Mongo database through C++. Mongo database is one of most popular used NoSQL database recently. Here on Linux, I have just installed the Mongo database. You can see currently my database status is active and it's running. So let's, let's connect to the Mongo database. Let's, so this is show database and tell you how many databases I have. So you can see I have one database called a test. So you, Go to use test and uh, I just saw collections. You can see I have one collection called player. And uh, in this collection, I have three players. One is John Oliver. And the and second player is called Stephen Colbert. And the third player is Susan Rice. And uh, Susan Rice is an advanced player. Stephen Colbert is a beginner player. And uh, John Oliver is an intermediate player. So this is uh, our collection, player collection. I have three players. And now let's go back another terminal. And I have just built a basic template of a Mongo connection C++ program. And uh, you can see our main function. I only try and here we we'll do something to connect to our Mongo database. And if it failed, we'll be catch the exception and uh, just uh, print out a connection field. Otherwise, we return zero. And the four C++ being able to connect to Mongo database, we have to install two library. One is called a Bison CXX, which is for the JSON document and the JSON uh, parser JSON document file. And the, this is the Mongo CXX, is the C++ Mongo database driver. So we have to include the client, client session, URI instance, and uh, this is a stdx, which is uh, by default. And uh, so to start a connect to the Mongo database, first we have to do, we have to build a instantialized instance. So I'm instance called INST, we instantialize this, and then we have to instantialize our URL, URI, I call them my URI, which is I'm, db, localhost, part number 27017. This is a default Mongo database part number. And uh, I've, I, after we got our instance and the URI, so we're here. First, we have to connect. So it's using Mongo. Client which will connect to where my after we got a connection we have to switch to the database so call my database 
equal which must this database is test and after we switch the database we have to this mongo It's wrong. Is collection so my where you go my DB, which is a collection called a player. Now we have to get our curse of find. So. So my car where you go find whichever thing and after that we everything return to the my car so I have to we have to use a for loop which part of the reference this document from so what we do we just print out Which we use in the that was a BSR to JSON, which my document convert to JSON format. And uh, after we finished the print, we finished. If a connection field where we go to the exception, print out connection field. And uh, this is uh, our basic uh, Mongo database connection program. Let's save this. So let's uh, build and make this. It's compiling. Okay. So this time we got our binary executable. Let's just run. So you can see we successfully connected to the Mongo database, got our three players, which is the one is the John Oliver, second one is the Stephen Colbert, third one is Susan Rice, and Susan Rice is advanced player, and the Stephen Colbert is the beginner player, and the John Oliver is an intermediate player. So now let's go to our Mongo database. You can see we have John Oliver, it's intermediate player. We have Susan Rice, is advanced player. And Stephen Colbert is a beginner player. So Let's stop our Mongo database. So you can see currently I shut down my Mongo database and let's go back. So here let's run our program again. You can see we got a connection failed because we shut down our Mongo database. So hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hope it's useful, enjoyable and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback